six for a Bank One Platinum Visa card, 3.9% intro rate and no annual fee in a free portfolio. 1-800-265-0036. You want to be prepared? You watch the Weather Channel. When it comes to something as important as this, knowing that we know can make all the difference. It's all we do. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Good morning, and thank you for making the Weather Channel a part of your Saturday morning. I'm Kristen Dodd, alongside Cheryl Lemke, mm -hmm. and we hope that you have a good day today. In the Northeast, though, the weather is going to be sloppy, to say the least. We have freezing rain, mm -hmm. snow, and heavy downpours, and some colder air is coming in, too, so just wow. about everything developing in the Northeast. Meanwhile, in the Southeast, it's severe weather that we have. So just a variety of things to talk about, definitely keeping our jobs very active <laughs> for today. Not a boring day. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's see how things are shaping up in this early Saturday morning. As Kristen was saying, it's anything but ideal across the east as we really have a mess in our hands this morning. The satellite picture really helps to tell the story, though, as we're still tracking the storm system, finally pulling its way and plowing off towards the east. And it continues to tap into ample low-level moisture that's been feeding northward. And that's simply fueling some heavier showers and thunderstorms across the Gulf Coastal region. While at the same time, though, we've had this big shield of somewhat milder air flowing up and over the very cold air that's trapped at the surface, We've had a broad area of ice and some snow, and it's all really converging on the northeast, making for a very treacherous morning for traveling. So, again, just a nasty time to be out and about. Now, at least along coastal sections, we watched that turnover taking place with now cool rain up through the Boston area. Same story, too, for New Bedford, likewise around New York City. It'll be kind of a cool rain event for a good part of the day. But still, for interior sections, we're dealing with the ice and the snow. We had a widespread area for the most part with some freezing rain and freezing drizzle. Freezing rain currently around the Pittsburgh area, up towards around Williamsport, or Williams, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, up through Poughkeepsie, Glens Falls reporting some freezing rain. Freezing rain too back towards the Berkshires and even over towards Portsmouth, New Hampshire, some freezing rain. Now we think though that as the day continues to wear on and that somewhat milder air continues to flow northward, some of that though will eventually turn over to a rain event. Pure snow, though, for upstate New York, back over towards northern sections of New England. And there will be quite a bit of appreciable snows, we think, throughout the day today. Speaking of snow, we still have a pretty good trajectory across the Great Lakes. And some favored snow belt areas will really get clobbered by locally heavy snowfall today. So, again, just really making for a very nasty time for traveling. Our travel conditions today, again, really quite variable throughout the northeast, depending on where you are. Mainly rain, though, along the coast, some of which will be locally heavy. But again, do expect the ice and the snow across interior sections. Right now, we do have that big plume of moisture flowing in through the northeast. Still reports of some sleet, some freezing rain, snow right around the Pittsburgh area. Freezing rain back over towards Binghamton and Ithaca, New York. More freezing rain from the Mid-Hudson Valley. But basically, rains along the coast. 
And for those of you in New York City and Boston, you're certainly not in the clear just yet. There will be a chance for more showers perhaps rolling on in, and some of that rain could be locally heavy. Now back through the Ohio Valley, we watched the colder air filtering in, so much of this has now turned over to snow. Reports of some scattered snow for Lexington and Louisville. Snows back over towards Cleveland and Youngstown, Ohio. But then a band of some cool rain, though, from Beckley and Bluefield, West Virginia, and extending southward towards the Great Smoky Mountains. This is where the weather becomes quite interesting, too, because we have a strong cold front bearing down in the area. And as it taps into that deep level of moisture, we've been seeing some heavier showers and thunderstorms popping up. And these might be rather prominent, at least for the rest of the morning through the early afternoon hours. So we'll certainly watch out for that across the southeast, as there will be a potential for some very strong thunderstorms. And already this morning, we've had some nasty cells. A fairly intense squall line has worked its way across New Orleans. Now it's moving over towards Mobile, Alabama, and just entering western sections of the Florida Panhandle around Santa Rosa and Escambia counties. And at least earlier this morning, these thunderstorms have had a history of producing some large hail and wind gusts over 55 miles per hour. So we'll certainly have to watch out for some very inclement weather with these showers and thunderstorms as they sweep off towards the east fairly quickly at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Elsewhere, though, we have some more rains, too, breaking out for Jackson, Mississippi, and a plume of rain, too, working over towards Birmingham and Anniston, Alabama, making for some tough time for traveling this morning if you're traveling over Interstate 20. Behind our storm system, very cold air continues to rush southward from Canada. And with the cold air in place, scattered snow breaking out this morning. Snows near Rochester, Minnesota. More snow, too, for Chicago. And quite a bit of snowfall from the UP of Michigan and extending even down towards the Detroit metro area. At least for Chicago, though, we think the snows will be tapering off today as that main band of snow shifts towards the east. But right along the uh, shoreline of Lake Michigan for lower sections of Michigan, you'll be in for quite a bit of dousing of snowfall today. From Traverse City, even down through uh, Battle Creek and Kalamazoo on into South Bend, Indiana, you might be shoveling out from 6 to 12 inches of snowfall by nightfall. So quite a bit of snow likely across lower sections of Michigan for later on today. Heading farther towards the west, though the weather starts to calm down quite a bit. We're still dealing with some very thick fog, though, for interior sections of California, like right around Stockton, Merced, and Sacramento. That may be rather stubborn to burn off, but eventually it should start to ease up a little bit by this afternoon. Fair skies along the coast making for a delightful day. And as you factor in those Santa Ana winds and that offshore breeze, still a very warm afternoon for those of you across the L.A. Basin. Elsewhere, though, we've had a persistent onshore fetch. Some spotty rains right now for Seattle up through Bellingham, Washington. And then some snows, too, for the higher elevations. But overall, the west actually not that terribly active as we have a ridge of high pressure across the area helping to protect most of the west from any significant precipitation. What about the forecast, though, for the remainder of your Saturday? Well, let's check out the forecast in greater detail now. Respect.